Now, the convention doesn't come without some controversy. Thousands are marching through Chicago. They're demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. It's just one of the large issues looming for the next administration. So how does Vice President Harris hope to communicate to voters this week? And what do delegates hope to hear? Here's NBC's Bree Jackson with more from Chicago. The stage is set as the Democratic National Convention gets underway. People from across the country showing their support for the Harris Walls ticket. I spoke with delegates about the top issues in their states. The cost of housing, being able to send your kids to school, the cost of food and gas, these basic things. Workers' rights um, to um, you know, our economy, making sure that we're making the right, right investments uh, in our economy. Outside the convention, protesters voicing their opposition to the war in Gaza. The Harris Walls campaign says they plan to address the issue. You have a candidate like Kamala Harris that is going to get to the bottom of these challenging issues, be frank with both sides about what is needed to get to a place of reducing civilian casualties and making this uh, terrible and tragic war over. Much of the focus tonight will be on President Biden. Senator Sanders, what do you want to hear tonight? What do you want to hear tonight from the president? Good speech. The 81-year-old was expected to accept the Democratic Party's nomination, but after nearly a half century in public office, he's passing the torch. His legacy is going to be that he saved democracy not once but twice. He saved it once by defeating Donald Trump in 2020, and he saved it once by actually stepping down and allowing uh, Kamala Harris to be our first female uh, president. Tonight, Democrats will honor Biden's legacy as the party looks toward the future of a Harris Walls ticket. The theme here tonight at the Democratic National Convention is for the people. Democrats say while former President Trump puts himself first, their party is fighting for the American public, adding that President Biden exemplifies that by putting the American people's interest above his own. In Chicago, Bree Jackson, NBC News.